Got a question today from Tony, so shout out to Tony. She says, I saw a video of yours talking about a course on becoming a velocity banking consultant or financial coach. She says, this is still available. I no longer see it on your website, but it's still a video. There's still videos, you know, mentioning it. As of right now, as I'm recording this video, it's September of 2023. Um, earlier 2023, towards end of last year, 2022, I launched a kind of like a beta, very tester type of a program on how to become a financial coach without getting any certifications, right? And I laid out the differences between programs out there like the one I released, which was like basically showing you the inner workings of becoming a financial coach, what that entails, the cost behind it, types of studying that you can do, things like that, that don't require a certification. So this position, either becoming a financial consultant, coach, strategist, counselor, these things don't require a license, don't require a certification to actually start helping people. If you want to become a life insurance agent, you want to become a financial advisor, if you want to become a certified financial planner, tax accountant, this can require some, some schooling, some education, and definitely licenses and certifications. So I say that to present the opportunity in the marketplace where you have everyday people reaching out, people like myself and other content creators that do not have a quote unquote license or certification, and we're still serving people, right? We're still helping them out. There's obviously some things that we should refrain from or should not do, like give financial advice or tell people how much they should be investing in something or, or selling investments without a license. Like, you know, there's clear guidelines in terms of what you should and shouldn't be doing. And there's also some gray area, right? There's definitely some gray areas when it comes to the financial coaching space in terms of like, do you need a license? Do you need a certification or do you not? And the truth is you don't, although having one doesn't hurt either. Just figuring out what makes sense. Like, does it make sense for me to spend thousands of dollars on a certification on a business opportunity that I haven't yet proven any type of results or sales yet. So this is one of those types of businesses where you can get started without having to have a whole lot of experience or certifications or a whole lot of studies. And you can really test the market to see if you have proof of concept. And then once you are actually serving people and getting results and you create a program, you create a service, you do some one-to-one -one with people. Now you got some proof of concept, you got some money coming in. Then I would say, yeah, let's continue to always improve ourselves. Let's continue to learn. Let's continue to grow. And there's two different ways you can go about doing that. As I said, you can go get certifications or you can, you know, hire another financial coach and they can show you their practice. And that's basically what I launched as of 2023, had about 50, almost 60 people enroll in that. And I went ahead and closed it in terms of like, not just making it available to the public. So for you, Tony, if you would like you just reach out to me directly. In fact, I already emailed you. So by the time this video comes out, you probably already made your decision. I am basically just offering it to anyone that is seeking it, right? So it's like, if you want me to teach you and show you my business model, you can actually get it for free. I put a whole playlist together, how to become a financial coach without certifications. And I just basically went through my process showing you my business model, showing you my process, how I operate, you can get that for free. If you want to take the next step in terms of hiring me to be your coach, to help you coach, right? So it's the coach training the next coach to become one, right? Happy to do that. Has to make sense, right? We, we figure out a payment plan, some type of a setup, right? So I'm, I'm being very flexible at the moment because I haven't figured out how I want to scale that particular offer or if I want to keep doing it on a, on a big scale or just like a small scale helping a certain amount of people per year. I definitely do have a desire to help other people like my clients that I've helped them pay off a ton of debt, get their money right. And now we're, you know, you're investing in things, you're acquiring life insurance policies, you're acquiring debt tools, you're 
investing in real estate, you're doing all these wonderful things. And then some of you are like, hey, Denzel, I want to start a YouTube channel. I want to serve people. I want to educate them about this. And behind the scenes, I've been putting together some kind of a coaching service where we would just have conversations and we would strategize on your standard operating procedures to build your practice build out your programs and offers and services that you want to sell. Then there is a component of the social media, the marketing plan. Do you want to start a YouTube channel? Do you want to do TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or all of it, some of it? How do we want to build that up? What type of content you want to build? And then I can give insight on the types of mics that I use, pricing, the cameras, the visuals, whiteboard, all of that. All right. So kind of putting that all together and rolling out some kind of an offer it's there's not a particularly set price what i've just been doing is basically charging what i normally would charge for a financial consultation so as of right now in 2023 if you were to pay for a one hour phone call with me it'd be 275 an hour right you book as many calls as you as you like as you need so what i did was basically just say hey we can go on a on a monthly thing 275 a month we talk say one or two times a month and we lock in a payment plan for say a year and we dedicate a year. So you're investing a year into this particular business that you would like to start, you would like to do. And it's not a whole lot of upfront capital because we're just dedicating 275 a month over the next 12 months. That's kind of like what I've done so far, uh, uh, Tony, and those of you who are also interested for my kind of beta group of my 50, 60 people, I created a financial coaching mastermind. It was just 197 bucks. It was just one time thing. And you have lifetime access to these um, financial coaching masterminds live that I did with that group. And they're recorded. It's already done. So that that small course is complete. If you want to work with me one-to-one, like I said, we're going like a payment plan or something like that, I would just give you that course so you can kind of catch up and then we would have our one-to-one sessions together on a monthly basis and see where it goes and those would be the main aspects standard operating procedures how you want to run your practice who you want to serve we identify all these key factors then there's the market research the marketing i think those are the two areas that i'll be able to provide the most value and then if you also want to become a financial coach that also teaches say the velocity banking concept or becoming your own banker, high cash value life insurance, or just different financial strategies that have helped people create financial freedom. And you want to talk about it and you want to specialize in that particular area and then maybe eventually get some licenses. We can also discuss collaboration and partnership, creating content, leveraging each other's audiences, platforms, et cetera, et cetera. Prime example would be Christy Van. Christy Van was initially a client of mine back in 2022, but she had been following me, I think for quite a while, becomes a client, help her with her finances and getting things in line, getting things tweaked. And then in really like a very short period of time, she was flirting with the idea of wanting to start a YouTube channel, wanting to help other people. Between myself and my business partner, Alex Albaran, we just kind of poured encouragement into her to like say you can do this you can start this you can you know create content start educating people and then i want to say under a year it's september of 2023 i want to say she started the youtube channel end of last year 2022 um, somewhere last like q4 somewhere around q4 of 2022 started pumping out content fast forward to today last time i checked she had a hundred and 17,000 subscribers. I have 52,000 subscribers. She doubled what I have in subscribers. That's pretty insane. So the strategies that both Alex and myself presented to her, for, for me, I was sharing with her all of the incorrect things or mistakes or pitfalls that I was making. And she extracted all of the the correct things that I did and just avoided all the mistakes and just completely blew up in the velocity banking space because that's primarily what she talks about is the velocity banking concept. Same exact thing that I talk about on on this channel. So it was so cool to see that and that kind of 
over the months really inspired me to want to help other people do the same thing. But again, it has to make sense, Tony, and those of you who are listening or considering this route really has to make sense. You know, we need to go back and forth. We need to figure out if you're really serious about this because I don't want to waste my time in this particular area. I know my main focus is helping people with their personal finances, helping them keep more of the money they already make, pay off debt, fix their credit, increase cash flow, create financial freedom. I don't want to deviate from that unless it unless you're another Christy Van, unless you're another Minor Ramos, another Amanda Pride. And these are people that I'm working with that have started YouTube channels, regardless of how many followers you have. This is something that I've always never, I never underestimate somebody's potential. I learned very early on not to judge anyone by their subscription base, the amount of followers they have, because you never know who's going to blow up. Like, I did not think like Christy Van would blow up that fast. Like, it's just, it's, it's one of those things where like, she just really did everything I told her to do along with Alex and she listened and it was pretty awesome. Another really cool case study is looking up Steven Gardner. When we first started collaborating with each other, I had a couple, I think I was over 10,000 subscribers. He had like 400, 500 subscribers and we did like one or two collaborations. And then like he pivoted his content, started talking about politics and what's going on in the country. Dude exploded, has over a million subscribers today. Another case study. Wealth Nation. You look up Wealth Nation. When I first collaborated with them, they had a couple thousand subscribers. I want to say under 5K. And I think I was maybe 15 ish, almost 20, something to that nature. We did a collaboration together. That video went viral in the space that we're in. I think today it has over 350,000 views. That blew my channel up, but the video was on their channel. So it really blew their channel up. And now today, I it's been a while since I checked, but I want to say they have either over 200,000 subscribers or somewhere around that number. So a mixture of commitment, consistency, character, integrity, faith, coaching, a mixture of all these different things coming together can really change the dynamic, change your paradigm in terms of how you show up in the world, how you want to serve people in that regard. So by no means am I an expert in helping you become a successful YouTuber or anything like that. I'm not making any claims that. I'm just saying if you have a desire to help people and serve people, here is how I am helping people and serving people and reaching those people to believe so that they can believe I can help them. They believe I can help them based on the social proof, the the material that I you know, put out and put together. Like for example, I'm working on a case study right now with a particular client. We're going over velocity banking, infinite banking, debt snowball, combining all three together to eliminate over $200,000 of debt and then create a whole financial freedom timeline and pathway and discovering their gifts, purpose, all those things, right? So again, it's not going to make sense for everyone, but if it is a desire and that's what you're reaching out to me about, just email me and I'm going to send you some options, maybe we'll jump on a call and see what makes sense, right? My name is Denzel, personal finance geek of the 21st century. Look forward to talking again soon and answering more of your questions.